Hello friends, this is just a quick revision of various pelvic diameters. This is inlet of pelvis, this is mid pelvis and this is outlet. There are three anterior posterior diameters of inlet, true conjugate, obstetric conjugate, diagonal conjugate. All three posteriorly begin from one common point, midpoint of upper margin of sacral promontory, this one. And if it is reaching up to upper border of pubic symphysis, this is called true conjugate. If it is reaching up to mid pubic symphysis, obstetric conjugate. And if it is reaching up to lower border of pubic symphysis, diagonal conjugate. So all three posteriorly begin from one common point, midpoint of upper margin of sacral promontory. True conjugate to upper border of pubic symphysis, 11. Obstetric conjugate to mid pubic symphysis, 10.5. Diagonal conjugate, lower border of pubic symphysis, 12. Transverse of inlet is between two farthest points on iliopectineal line, 13 cm. Mid pelvis, anterior posterior, between lower border of pubic symphysis and junction of S45 vertebra, 11.5 cm. Transverse of mid pelvis is between two ischial spines. As you can see, these are ischial spines and these are ischial tuberosity. So, ischial spines are at the level of mid pelvis, 10 cm, interspinous, bispinous. Outlet, two anterior posterior diameters, anatomical AP, obstetric AP. It is between lower border of pubic symphysis to tip of coccyx. Anatomical anterior posterior, 11.5. Obstetric anterior posterior, which when at the time of delivery of head. Because coccyx is flexible in females, so it is pushed backwards. So this obstetric anterior posterior can reach up to 13 cm. Transverse of outlet is between inter- Two, ischial tuberosity. It is called intertuberous or bituberous diameter. How much is this? 11 cm. Another important diameter is posterior sagittal diameter. It is at inlet, mid pelvis, outlet. Important one at outlet. It is calculated between tip of coccyx to intersection between intertuberous diameter. How much is it? 7.5 cm. So, most important diameter of pelvis is which one? Most important diameter of pelvis is interspinous diameter 10 cm. Smallest diameter of pelvis, interspinous 10 cm. Largest diameter of pelvis, this is transverse of inlet 13 cm. Out of all these, which one can be measured clinically? If you are doing pervaginal examination, our fingers will pass through lower border of pubic symphysis. So, which one can be measured clinically? Diagonal conjugate. If examiner frames the MCQ, if diagonal conjugate is X, how much should be the obstetric conjugate? Obviously, it has to be X minus 1.5 because normally, ideally, obstetric conjugate is 10.5 while diagonal conjugate is 12 cm. It was just a quick revision for FMG exam. Wish you all the best.